is going on, everybody? Welcome to the latest episode of the Legislative Director talking about legislative things. She has that post-session glow about her. <laughs> Legislative Director Amber Marr. With her, as always, not the Legislative Director Jason Thompson. Amber, session's over. Haven't done this in a minute. Up top. <laughs> Good work. Good Ooh. work. So when we last left our hero here, uh, when we were recording this last week, session was just about to end. We were recording on a Thursday. It went into the, it wasn't late evening, but it was mm -hmm. evening on Friday. So sash, set, session. <laughs> wow. Session. <Okay. laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Session wrapped up on Friday. I'm going to start calling it session. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, I might start doing that as I well. I love it. Yeah, okay. So session now <clears throat> over, done. They're out of here. And so today we're going to talk about a lot of bills that we've already talked about, but what got across the finish line? And also, importantly, what didn't get across the finish line? Because we do have some good news. We have well, some we continued already, good news there. Yeah, we already gave the good news. Yes, but it didn't. Um, Officially. Yeah, it didn't. Now it's for sure done. Right. So <laughs> Session is over. Yes. How are you feeling? Well, I was going to say, I mean, session just ended. I mean, only it was just this past Friday. We're only on whatever day it is. I think it's Wednesday today. So we're recording we're on Wednesday. We're only three days out from session. So how I'm not, I'm still not feeling. Well, here, here's the thing. We're recording on a Wednesday. Why are we recording on a Wednesday? Because I'm going on vacation. <laughs> For real this time. No <laughs> fake background. Still with the real sunglasses. Real beach, maybe. Yeah. I, there's going to be a real well, beach there. I think so, yeah. Here, here's hoping. Um, <laughs> So that's exciting. So we're recording this yeah. early so Amber can get into vacation mode. <laughs> and then yeah. we'll be able to, you know, put this all behind her for a little while. And we will be taking so a little housekeeping right at the top of the show. We will not be having another episode next week because, no, we will not as we be. just mentioned, Amber will be on vacation. I will be here doing what I do. <laughs> Not on vacation. But not on vacation, but not doing this. <laughs> I'll be doing other things. So we will not have a show next week. And then we'll come back with some more programming. I know that we had mentioned this last show that last year's season, we said we would be back and we didn't come back <laughs> until this year. That's not going to happen this time around. We were like, uh, hey, we'll do a recap. We'll come back. Don't worry. And then. <laughs> yes. You just kept on, we showed up kept on refreshing that feed, session. and it wasn't there. Uh, no, but we no. will be coming back after a, a, a little of a well-deserved break uh, for Amber, and we will you know, pick it up where we left off. I'm going to soak up some sun. But today, let's go over oh, yeah. what is what happened, legislation that we care about, what is going on. So what we're going to do rapid fire. Rapid fire. Okay. Because we got to get ready. Well, you got to get ready. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. You got to get ready for vacation. Get lot ready of, for vacation. A lot of stuff to tie up before you yeah, leave. A lot of like, loose ends. By actually doing other things. <laughs> <laughs> by piling up a whole ton of work. Right. Uh, right on your way out of town. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's actually you. Oh, yes. <laughs> the first one. I, we're going numerically. I was going to. Okay. Is that okay? Totally fine. Except for, yeah, okay. We've talked about this a few times. SEA, now it's SEA 5. For Senate Enrolled Act. So once it, it is passed out of the uh, the General Assembly on the way to the governor to be signed, it becomes SEA, Senate Enrolled Act, or HEA, House Enrolled Act. So Senate Enrolled Act, lead water line replacement and lead remediation, uh, as we've talked about several times. Um, this is giving water utilities an opportunity to, uh, a, another tool in their toolbox to remove these lead pipes that are connecting from the main to the home and just get those out of there, uh, because lead's bad. We don't want that. Uh, and this is, gives them an opportunity to replace that, um, especially when you have out-of-state non-responsive 
property owners uh, that they're trying to get in touch with and things of that nature. So it, all in all, good bill was signed by the governor on the 11th. On the 11th. Um, so that is all done. And that's good news. Sorry, I was really trying to prevent yawning while you were talking. Yeah, utility stuff can be boring <laughs> sometimes. I just like, it came over me. I'm exhausting. <laughs> And then I thought it would be rude if I let it happen. And... I do recall uh, maybe a couple of seasons ago you called me out for yawning. You on didn't. A show. You, like, you like yawned without letting it. And then I was just and like, no, you're I, like didn't. I didn't yawn. I'm like, yeah, you did. Okay. <laughs> okay. For those anyway, of you, like, you can go back you. to that episode. That was a fun one. Don't remember which one it was. Thank you for mm. that update. Yes. I apologize that I started to yawn. It's okay. I don't mind. It's probably going to happen again. I don't mind. Maybe even when I'm talking. I'll see what I can do about that. Okay. I meant I might yawn. No, I, I thought you were talking yawn. about me. <laughs> you might do that okay. too. Okay. Okay. Senate bill. Oh, yeah. This one is Senate bill. It's, this one is a Senate because, bill. Because. Here we go. Okay. This is, this is news we haven't shared. Yeah. This is, it's not breaking because session's over, <laughs> uh, but it's breaking news to all of you. Maybe. Maybe. You might already know, but we can celebrate again. So Senate Bill 10 was the Community Cares Initiative Grant Pilot Program. This was around the mobile integrated health uh, programs specifically aimed at mental health. It's a fund that uh, communities can apply to to start this type of a program, or they can apply to it to bolster a program they already have. Yes. But if you remember, it got a hearing in House Public Health, passed out, but it was recommitted. It got recommitted to House Ways and Means. Yes. Okay. Then it did not get a hearing in House Ways and Means before the committee deadline. So technically the bill died. But did it? But the bill died. Yes. The language lives on. Lives on. <laughs> because during conference committee, as you've heard us say, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, language from other bills that maybe didn't get a hearing like this. Uh, can get shoved into other places. It yep. just has to be germane or match the topic, uh, code sites, et cetera, in the bill where it is put. Yes. So Senate Bill 10 was actually put into House Enrolled Act 1385. And you heard me say Enrolled Act because... It passed. It passed. So really the language from Senate Bill 10 is now in House Enrolled Act 1385. So essentially, this particular issue survived. Yes. So this That's fund huge is going news. to be yes. The grant pilot program um, is it passed. It's it's going to it's something we can continue to talk about and encourage communities to participate in. 1385. Sorry, yes. I'm looking it up here to see what happened. Has not been signed by the governor. It has not been signed by the governor, okay. but it's going to be. Yes. I mean, I don't want to. I hope so. I don't want to jinx. Yes, us. we don't want to jinx this. But I think that this one is pretty safe to say. I think, you know. We're feeling good. We're feeling good about it. Feeling That's good. the way to say it. And we're also just feeling good that this language survived because this was something that we had testified in committee on. Yes. Um, and that we were well, very, you know, excited about the possibility of. Yes, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was going to say because, as a reminder, this was uh, a an initiative uh, pushed by Mayor Jensen out of Noblesville. We keep t talking about mm -hmm. that because Noblesville has a mobile integrated health program specifically aimed at mental health. Yes, and so this was an idea to kind of continue the expansion of these programs across the state, and also an opportunity for Noblesville to maybe even uh, grow their program. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, yes. Stay tuned. We Little... will hopefully be able to uh, give more of an update about what this program, this grant pilot program looks like when, you know, when and if there's money put into it for folks to apply to receive. So, yeah, this was very exciting. A nice little uh, welcomed end of session surprise, if you will. A little gift at the end there. Uh, shout out to Senator Baldwin for never giving up. Appreciate that. Yes. And also, I know that Senator Kreider and Senator Charbonneau were also other authors on the bill. So, but I know Senator Baldwin was working this Love very it. hard. Love so, it. Cool. Yes. Great. So that's good news. Yep. 
What else, what other good news do you have for We're us? We're on to the next good news, uh, Senate Bill 52. Which we talked about when, as you recall, when we were on our way back from Evansville. Yes. And what, why is that still just a Senate bill? Let's remind the people at home. Why is it a Senate bill and not an SEA 52? It's dead. It is dead. That's a shame. Ding dong. <laughs> Not really. It's not a shame. <laughs> it is not a shame. It is a very exciting. And here's why. If you remember, Senate Bill 52 was the prohibition of dedicated lanes. It also had the no turn on red language in there um, that apparently was a compromise between the state and the city. <clears throat> but um, it was heard in committee, in the Transportation Committee in the House. If you remember, we talked really, mm -hmm. we talked a lot about that committee and how it went down. Um, so it passed out of committee. We were just devastated. And then the speaker decided to kill it on second reading. So he pulled it from the calendar. Basically, that means he pulled it off. They could not call it down. And he basically said that there was some conversation around Washington Street and um, making sure that Indigo would try their hardest to ensure that there might be two lanes on each side um, in areas where there's a lot of traffic um, <coughs> to prevent bottlenecking and just, you know, a lot of congestion. Yep. So. We were very, very happy and giving accolades to not only the speaker, but also Chairman Pressel, who, um, you know, I, I know that he and uh, Representative Johnson, they just had a, an interesting exchange during committee. And I know everyone was really proud of Representative Johnson for how hard he had worked on this. And uh, Representative Pressel knew it was a tough, it was a tough vote. But? Dedicated lanes for the blue line in Indianapolis, which is that rap bus rapid transit line uh, that goes to the airport and across uh, pretty much the entire county is moving forward. They have an agreement in place on where there's going to be dedicated lanes. And as you said, two lanes of, you know, other car, like, car traffic. traffic. <clears throat> uh, so we'll see what happens with that. But that's great news. No turn on red stuff remains. We all we don't really talk about that often, but that's also you something mean that the was no turn on red signs. Signs remain. remain. The language is dead because if yes. you remember, the language in fifty two was they can there was a moratorium on Correct. no more signs being able to be put up until they studied the issue. Well, that moratorium died when fifty two died. So, look. So bring on the no turn on red. <laughs> <laughs> so it's you know. It's uh, this is coming from some. Oh, I just hit my microphone. This is coming from someone who consistently yes. is almost hit by cars running downtown. Look, this is a uh, legit real world example. This is not a joke. Where it's a serious issue, and we're not sad that the moratorium is gone for both that and the dedicated lanes. So, good work. Amber, good yes. work to all the advocates out there Agreed. for all of those of you that uh, sent in emails and made phone calls and things of that nature. Thank you. Thank you. We get to thank you to our volunteer legislative on. team. Just, yes, There's great so all many around. Shout out. So many shout outs for that. Awesome. So no more Senate Bill Fifty Two. Sorry, thanks to Transit Drives Indy. Yes. I'm still living in my thank yous. <laughs> <laughs> Live in the thank yous. Live in the moment because you know what. It's great that that bill didn't move forward. Yes. Thank you to the Indy Chamber. See, I'm just thinking about these people. And as you think of them, just shout them out. <laughs> it doesn't matter be, what it doesn't matter who what, knows bill, what bill we're on. Doesn't matter like, what bill we're on. Thank you to. Doesn't matter what bill we're on. Okay. So besides that good news, what other good news do we have going on? It's good news the rest of the way, right? Yes. Or mostly. I think it is. I think it is. Okay, hold. Let's see the next one up. Oh. Well, well, we'll just keep going in line to remind folks because okay, there we, go. we already talked about. Uh, Sen I hope we have this one. Senate. I, I don't know that we do. Senate Bill One Forty Two was the coverage for mobile integrated healthcare we did services. Have that. that one is dead. I, we've already talked about that one. It did uh, not progress in the House, but we have a compromise. Well, I shouldn't think I'm a compromise. We have a promise from the Insurance Institute to work this summer. So stay tuned on that. But that we'll bill did not move forward. Just a reminder. Okay. Did so we that's, have that one on that's, yeah, that oh, went okay, up on the great, screen. Great. Um, so that's not good news, but also we have some, like a little bit of good news because we think it's good. We're going to have some conversations in the Yeah. Area. So even though the bill died, there's still 
There's some progress being progress, made. Progress. There we go. Progress okay. is good. What's next? Next. Uh, well, I guess I should talk about Senate Bill 275, which was pension matters, alongside House Bill 1004, which was the 13th check. You've heard us talk about this. We weren't sure which one was going to move. Senate Bill 275 is dead. The House uh, did not hear Senate Bill 275. But the Senate did. You heard us say that during committee, House Bill 1004 actually was stripped and the Senate inserted the language from Senate Bill 275 and passed that back to the House. Well, because it did not include the 13th check, clearly Representative Cherry was like, I don't think so. And he dissented. So it went to conference committee. Where are we now? Well, House Bill 1004 during conference committee remained with most of the language from Senate Bill 275, but also included the 13th check for retirees during 2024. So a little merging of the two, HEA 1004, Pension Matters is now not only the 13th check, which we which we want to see, right. it's now set up a, uh, a system for future retirees in regards to whether or not they get a 13th check or a cost of living adjustment. Correct. And this one also has not been signed by the governor, but it's on its way to the governor's desk. On its way. Yes. Okay. And we are thrilled. Shout out to the public employees, some of which uh, are on our legislative team yes. uh, that were passionate about this issue and worked hard on it. Um, yeah, it was good to see that they came to that compromise of still giving uh, those retirees a 13th check this year. And then as well as setting it up going forward to where there's kind of a system in place um, for those cost of living adjustments and whatnot. And just wanted to give a shout out to the uh, executive director of RIPIA, Jessica Love. What's RIPIA? The retired, thanks. Good thing I had it looked up because <laughs> I wouldn't have remembered. <clears throat> retired Indiana Public Employees Association. There we go. Uh, working with Jessica, we worked with her in her previous capacity and uh, at another organization, but she is now with Ripia, and it was wonderful to work with her and work alongside her efforts as well as their uh, contract lobbyist. Can I mention? Maybe not. Uh, well, you, I can you, mention it's it. whoever you want. It's your show. Because oh, this can be a thank you for this one and fifty-two. Thank you, Joe Loftus. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> There we go. So really, it kind of makes sense. The continues. Work... The, the thank yous continue for Senate Bill 52. Yeah, but also Joe worked on uh, awesome. 1004 as well. Well, 275 and 1004. So thank you, Joe Loftus, 52 and 1004. Good work on that. What else? Sorry. You're still just, what, what, who else we got to thank? <laughs> who are we thanking? Who else are we thanking? Okay. Well, uh, it'll, we'll, uh, we'll come back. Okay. Next bill. House Enrolled Act 1068. 1068, the unlicensed real estate solicitors. Yes. And this one was, we wanted to, the, sorry, I had to get my brain around which one this was. This is where people will text you and say, I'll buy your home for cash, mm -hmm. call you, send you things in the mail. It is basically uh, passing some language of transparency to prevent folks from getting caught up in this and having more information when they're uh, approached with these types of okay. requests. Yep. So um, let me just check. Signed by the governor nice. on the 11th. Cool. Great. Thank you, Representative Clear. Yep. Appreciate you, Representative Clear, for putting that together. I think yes. we've worked on This is the second session now. I think we worked mm -hmm. on that one. Yeah. So good to see that that one has made it to the finish line and is signed by the governor. Because it did not last year. That's what yeah. you were talking about. Yeah. What's but it did this year. Okay. What's next? Next, let's see. House Enrolled Act 1222. Another real estate bill. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was getting Residential sorry. real estate service agreements. Uh, sorry, I was getting sidetracked. Because did we're I thinking more thank one? yous. Did I? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We already did that one, right? <laughs> what is that one? The 1395. Yeah, we talked about Up that here. one. That's how did that we talked of, about 10. I yeah, did it we, out of order. we did it out of order. I just want to make sure. But you had to because 10 was technically the numeric. It, it doesn't okay. matter. We got there. You, you talked about that one. That yeah. was a little, I just want so, to make sure where I was. Okay. 1222. House Bill 1222, Residential Real Estate Service Agreements. This is the one where homeowners were offered a nominal fee 
to sign a 40 year contract mm -hmm. to essentially have services to sell their home later in life yep. or whenever they were going to sell their home. Terrible practice. This was going to prevent that from happening. Uh, and we worked so closely with Representative Haggard and Representative Tor, and we're just grateful for all of them. It was signed by the governor on the 11th as well. Nice. Yeah. That was uh, good work. I think we're like the 18th state now yep. that has that in place. So that is good. Yep. All right. Nice work on that one as well. So. Is that it? I is that it? I think that's, that's it. I know. I mean, there was a lot though. Look, that was a, that's a lot for a Listen, short session, a shorter short session. Yeah, shorter than it than it could have been. Ended a week early. And did yep. they start a week later? Yep. So like it was basically like two weeks of session that were just lopped off of what is already a short session, which, you know, <laughs> it's what it was. Yeah. It's it's why you're going on vacation. <laughs> Usually, it's not that I look forward to short sessions because short sessions are a complete whirlwind and they normally file almost the same amount of bills during a short session that they do in, in a long session. Yes. However, they capped the bill number, the, the number of bills in both chambers this year. Usually the House always caps during a short session at five, but the Senate also capped, uh, I think of five yeah i think at five too so there were a lot less bills but still it was just insane so okay yeah session's over i don't i, I haven't had time to really feel it though well hopefully in the next week uh some time off will help with that uh so now that session's over yes there's gonna be all oh. sorts of things that are coming up here because um, we immediately went. Well, yeah, and, and basically there was some overlap there. A session was still going on, and we're starting to get into the what's the next thing. Mm -hmm. So the major thing that we probably want to talk about first is what what is the next thing that we're maybe going to be talking about on the show, or just in general, what we're going to be working on. So there's this thing. There's an election this year uh, in <laughs> November. I don't know if you all know this. If you don't, that's a different conversation, and we can talk about that. But mostly, we want to let you know that there okay. is an election coming up, 2024. There's a primary in May. Uh, and for the first time in, I, it's been a minute, I think, uh, where there is, it is an open seat for governor. Uh, so we have a... Uh, a primary on the Republican side um, with a lot of candidates in it. And that is something that we uh, are getting a, a little bit uh, informing the older voter about the stance of uh, these candidates where they stand on several issues. And we are, and I don't think I'm breaking news. And if I'm not, or if I am, that's cool. If not, I'm probably, you've probably seen it already. We will, we are sponsoring a uh, debate on Fox 59 and CBS four. It's also going to be broadcast in uh, with Wayne TV uh, up in Fort Wayne. And then I, I knew I was going to blank on the station down oh. in Evansville. I'll remember it here in a second and look it up. Um, but we so it's going to be broadcast on in Evansville and then it's going to be streaming online on, on WGN. So folks that like WGN are our friends up in Northwest Indiana. But yeah, AARP Indiana is the sponsor of the uh, I think this is the I think this is the first Republic or televised Republican debate. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Either way. Um, Might need to fact check yeah, that. Yeah, probably. Uh, I could be making it up. Either way. <laughs> I'm not saying you are. I'm either way, we're know. sponsoring that. So that's exciting. That's happening uh, towards the end of this month. March the tw 26. The, the 26, which is actually almost, that's like two weeks out. It is. Yeah. We're like two weeks out from that. So stay tuned. I uh, encourage you all to tune in on that. There's also a place where you can go to... Um, Wait. Submit potential questions for it. Yes. What time? Um, it's going to be at 7 o'clock p.m., I believe. I, I looked, and it's not on there. Okay. Well, we'll figure that out. Um, we were super prepared. We're super prepared for this today. big news that we wanted to give you. Um, <laughs> I mean, we were so excited to tell you that, that we, we didn't even look it up. to look up um, the details. Yeah. So there is going to be, this is going to be on Fox 59 in Indianapolis, CBS 4 in Indianapolis. Um, 
it is going to be, and I'm looking here, it's 7 p.m. Oh, Eastern right. time. Oh, it's going to be an hour-long debate. Uh, but yeah, AARP Indiana is sponsoring that. Uh, and then I'm also going to look up real and quick. And so absolutely, if you're interested in submitting questions to the candidates, you there is a form online through Fox 59's website where you can do that. And um, I know it was a really long website, so we're not going to. So we'll try to, like, if you're watching this on Facebook, I think it's going to be there in the, uh, you know, in the comments section or whatever it is there. And then also maybe take a look at it on on uh, the uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, uh, that there as well. I'm looking up that Evansville station because it's going to bug me. W-E-H-T. There we the go. The ABC affiliate down there in Evansville. My apologies to my friends down there. Um, yeah, we're going to uh, start getting into the mix and hear from these candidates about uh, issues that matter to older Hoosiers and their families. So it's exciting. And they got some other things in the work uh, around our, our voter engagement um, activities and just giving people the information they need to know about where they need to go to vote, how they go about registering, how you request an absentee ballot. Those are all things that we're going to try to make sure people know about, which you can also find at aarp.org slash invotes. I was just going to say, give that little plug, plug for that as well. Um, but yeah, it's an exciting time. Just rolling right into the next thing. Uh, we're going to keep busy here. But that's uh, keep an eye out for those things here in the upcoming weeks. Sounds good. Awesome. I think that's anything all else? I had. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. You know. Look, it was a good session. Oh, okay, what did we forget? Thank you. Another thank you. There Nielsen. it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Thank you, Counselor Andy Nielsen. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Brought it full circle with those thank yous. Thank you. Yeah. There's going to be more. Thank you for the thank yous. <laughs> I'll pause to see if there's any more. There's more. I'm just trying to think. What else did we do? Okay. I don't want to leave anybody out because this was a huge deal. If you are anyway connected or involved in <laughs> stopping SB 52, this is a blanket thank you to all. Of, and if you were thank left, thank you, Andy Miller. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You were not. Now I'm just going to start screaming out people's names. And they so, may or may not be real. If Yeah, if you weren't a part of it and I say your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm trying to not forget anybody. We're, look, thank you to- Thank like, you to Indigo. Yeah, I was going to say the whole Indigo team. Uh, yes. They worked hard on this as well. I'm going to wrap this show up before you think of any other ones. But if while I'm talking- Wait. <laughs> got another one. Yeah. Who else be thanking? Wait, I- coming to me. <laughs> Thank you. So um, many of them. Uh, I know there is. How about just thank you to everybody for this entire session, all the work that's been done. A lot of people working hard on a lot of different issues. Our legislative team, the team here at AARP Indiana, the all, all of our different partners and things of that nature. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I know there's somebody I'm missing. Amber's searching her text. <laughs> For which things don't tell she needs people to say what next. I'm doing. I don't know. I was just making an assumption. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what's going um, on. Okay. Well, if you think about it, I'll do this again next time. Yeah, we'll we'll keep the thanks rolling. Because we're gonna keep the thanks rolling. There are she just thought of somebody. I thought of two more people. Lindsay. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Thank you, Lindsay. There's more people. Okay. Hoosier Environmental Council. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm, let's wrap this up before. The, if you haven't tuned out already. Uh, thank you, Amber. Thank you. Well, I, we gotta get the, we're we're going to get the thank you count going because um, it's a lot. It's a lot of thanks. But enjoy your vacation. Thank you. It's going to be. <laughs> Thank you, Jason Thompson. <laughs> Woo! Made it. Got it in there. Um, enjoy okay. your vacation. For those of you who enjoy the, your week off from this show, because uh, after this little stretch, you definitely probably need it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, Actually, I'm not going to say sorry. There you go. <laughs> because you don't need to apologize for anything. Not for giving thank yous. No. No, you don't. All right. Okay. I guess we can go now. <laughs> uh, look this has been this has been lovely
Thank you <laughs> for your patience. And thank you <laughs> for yours. And we'll continue this on the next episode of The Legislative Director, talking about legislative things. See you soon. Thank you.